Japan? Next. Okay, that's okay. Apparently, I guess you already know why you why you here. Uh, yeah, you okay. Excuse me. Usually, when, that's okay because usually when people come in, they how long is don't this gonna take? No, how long is this gonna take? It, we can do how it. How long right. is this gonna take? We can do it right now. Yeah, how long is this gonna take? Okay, right. well I need. No, consent. how long is it gonna take for you to continue to talk to him so I can get up and go? I do have work to be at. So how long is this gonna take? You always you gotta deal with her like this. It don't even matter what he gotta yes. deal with. How long is yes. this gonna take? Because I don't have to be here for real. No, you don't have to be here. Exactly. But obviously you exactly. Do love I him, don't. Right? I don't have to be here. Do you love him? I don't have to be here. Loving got to do have with to be it. Here. Loving got to do with it. Okay. So calm down. can you not? What? At least let you the know. reason I'm here. Exactly. Man. And he ain't going nowhere. In the opening scene, we see a woman who has been brought onto the show Cheaters, but instead of opening up and owning what she did, she is choosing to be loud and disrespectful, even though her man is being calm with her. But obviously this man has been dealing with this type of disrespect for a while, and it shows. But if you starting to find that your woman is being openly disrespectful to you and or cheating on you, don't even fuss about it. Don't even get upset. As a man, your best action is just to leave. It's not worth trying to save a relationship when your woman doesn't show you respect. It's damn near impossible to get that respect back once it's gone. What up, gents? Welcome to TSG Uncut. I'm your host, Sean C. In today's video, we're gonna watch a couple's therapist reveal to us why women lose good men based upon one particular trait. But this trait is starting to be common with all modern women. Please enjoy today's video. And with that being said, let's get started. So there's a couple that I helped a couple of months back in regards to the relationship, right? And I knew that it wasn't going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work, but I couldn't tell them that it wasn't going to work. I just had to do whatever I could, give them as many exercises to practice, to utilize in the relationship, to implement, to see if it could work. But I knew deep down in my heart that it probably wasn't going to work, right? And I'm only saying this because I know a lot of times women feel like they can do no wrong. And the crazy thing about it is the man is in an outstanding relationship now. And the woman, it's not. She's suffering. She's going through it. How many of you gents been in relationships where all the faults of the relationships have been placed upon you? This is also common with modern women. Modern women today are not capable of taking accountability within the relationship. That's why we see so many of them alone. They don't want anyone to think that it is their behaviors that is causing all of their failed relationships. Look at Will Smith. Look at Jada Pinkett Smith. She went on the red table talk and instead of taking accountability, she used words that lessen why things were the way they were. Will Smith went on to say in another video that he cannot make Jada happy. And that's the truth. You guys cannot make these women happy. It is not up to you to make another person happy. They have to find the happiness within themselves before they can make you happy, before they can give to you. They got so many women out here on TikTok and social media talking about how the guys that they were in relationships with are doing better than what it was when they were in a relationship with them. It's because if a man doesn't get bitter and cold, he takes those lessons from the past relationship and he tries to apply it to the new ones if he's about growth and change within himself. While most modern women feel like they don't have to change, they get into new relationships thinking that it was the man's fault. So they take no action in order to become a better version of themselves. That's not growth. That's living in the past, but let's continue. So she reached out to me and this is a story I want to tell you guys. So she goes, Kitty, I did everything that you told me to do. Mind you, I've talked to this man already. He's reached out to me and everything that I taught them, everything I told them, utilize implement, he's doing it now in the relationship that he is in. That was just the wrong woman. So she asked me, Kitty, what did I do wrong? And I said, do you want me to be wrong with you? And she said, yes. So I told her, you had this princess syndrome where you felt like it always had to be me, 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 and everything that I said went. And that if I was not right, he was not going to be happy. You belittled him, you emasculated him. I said, you didn't watch your tone. You reacted before you responded. You didn't take time to comprehend what it was that he was saying. And he heard you nagging instead of actually listening. You waited to play that number plus one game. Okay, this is a number of things that you have done to me that he's telling you, and then you say, well, this is 
is a number of things that you have done to me plus one. You had a warped mindset to where you believe that, hey, it's going good right now and I need a little bit of attention. So bad attention is better than no attention. Instead of understanding that now you are transitioning into a healthier space. So there's going to be peace. It is going to be serene, but you didn't know how to adapt to peace and serenity because of your chaos from your childhood and your past traumas. You brought those into this relationship and you blamed him for the mistakes of your partner. The list can go on and everything that I told you to do as you're saying you did it you did not you went back to what it is that you knew and she said well kitty can I get him back you can't get him back you lost him and you should not be worrying about getting a partner back until you fix yourself and the only way to fix yourself as I always say ladies is to be accountable for your shit modern women are quick to play the blame game for why they are alone why they are single why they can't find a man why they are miserable but how many of them had good men that they passed up on how many women are like the one that the therapist was talking about that is more concerned about winning an argument than saving their marriage or their relationship how many women today are ready to head for the door instead of looking at changing themselves to be better women for their men a lot of these women want to be put up on a pedestal but rarely do we see modern women give men exactly what they're looking for and that's peace most men want peace but these these women are agents of chaos. The world is tough enough as it is as a man to come home to a loud, argumentative, combative woman. Gents, this is why you should not rush into a relationship. You should vet those women, every woman that comes into your life and know the reason why she is there. And a lot of these women today are going to be willing to be soft to you, be kind to you, to show you love and care in the beginning, just so that you can commit to them. But once you have, it all changes. Now, there was a study that came out and I did this on one of my live streams where after five years of marriage, women's desire for their husband decreases while the man's desire for his woman stays relatively the same. This is why you have to be careful with the women that you allow in your life. Now, I would have said back in the day that if she gave you somewhat of a valid reason why she left her past relationships, then it might be OK to go ahead. But I am telling you, gents, right now, do not fall for that. A lot of these women are in a soft girl era. They will say and do whatever it takes to try to lock you down in the beginning. And then later on, they become different people. I say now that if a woman isn't willing to take accountability for why her past relationships fail, then that is a woman that you need to potentially let go. That's a huge red flag. And now men have to worry about these women who will use their tone or their voice. They will sound a certain way to, to manipulate you into getting what they want from you. Don't believe me? Then watch this next video and see for yourself.